40,000 volts. The body of Christ. Amen. Point of origin, very good. And what do we connect that point of origin to then on the other side? <laughs> we will all come out of this with a degree of success. Tries to help people too much. Well, how are we going to write that? We did re-elect FDR by a substantial majority in 1940. People ask, what is the role of a Catholic school today? We feel it's more necessary today because it can communicate those values of family, of commitment, of excellence, of coherence that are lacking in our own society. We are really agents of value. Well, one of the real uh, concerns that a society has is the ethical behavior of its, of its leaders. And I think that Chaminade is, is helping to mold ethical Christian young men who will be adult leaders tomorrow. Chaminade High School has a long tradition of preparing young men to face the challenges that lie ahead of them. Inspired by Father William Joseph Chaminade's ideal of revitalizing the faith through Christian education, Brother Alexander Ott envisioned a Marianist high school serving the growing Catholic population of Long Island. In September 1930, he and four other brothers of the Society of Mary opened Chaminade with an enrollment of 145 students. As Long Island grew, so did Chaminade, so that by the late 1950s, enrollment had increased almost tenfold. Throughout Chaminade's six decades of growth and expansion, the Marianist community has labored to meet the educational and spiritual needs of more than 15,000 Catholic young men. In order to address these needs, the work of the brothers has extended beyond the classroom. Since the 1970s, the Marianist community has provided the manpower for all of the school's major construction programs. Mariba, Chaminade's retreat house, was rebuilt by the brothers with the help of students and parents. The efforts of the brothers to renovate, maintain, and build have kept tuition down by making the best possible use of space and controlling the high costs of operating a first-class educational facility. The maintenance and expansion of the school is an outgrowth of the family that we call a Chaminade family. I think it's very important to think of it as a home. It's just something we try to communicate to the, to the young men here, that this is their home as well. Today, Chaminade faces a new challenge, to provide a quality Catholic education that is affordable to all. To achieve this goal, the Chaminade family has begun a bold new venture, the Torch Fund an endowment specifically designed to reduce and eventually eliminate tuition. Your generous support of the Torch Fund will help us to continue molding Catholic young men into leaders for tomorrow. The body of Christ. What we would try to do here at Chaminade is to create a religious culture for the students who the basically are coming very much from secular backgrounds. And we do that by trying to provide them with a number the of, of prayer opportunities, the Eucharist, communion before each of the lunch periods, confessions weekly, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament on Mondays, and an atmosphere in the hallways of religious art that would help to create positive Christian imagination for them. The last two classes, especially in the junior and senior year, um, Christian existence and Christian humanism have really taught me how to defend my faith, why, why the Catholic Church stands on these moral issues the way they do. And when I got out of high school, I didn't feel the pressures that many uh, kids my age did to, uh, to stay away from things that were important to your faith because you would be embarrassed or uh, uh, the peer pressure issues. And I had enough strength coming out of that experience. I think that was very valuable. The example of the priests and the brothers as they taught us to make a commitment to religion and to to feel a spirituality that we wouldn't have felt without their example, without their direction, 
carried me well through my life. I think that's one of the most important things they get from Chauvinat, is learning how to be a true Christian man. Okay, so the question is, should FDR have run for a third term? Given the two-term precedent that was followed by all of his predecessors, Okay, Dennis? Uh, the two-term precedent was a tradition, and traditions are meant to be broken. And what could have happened if we switched leaders with the grave situation that was occurring in Europe? Okay, now that is exactly the traditional response. For there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To me, it is a prison. What are the implications of that viewpoint? Dave? Well, I think that if Hamlet's view is correct, there can be no truth, no reality, because truth and reality exist outside of the mind and not just on one's perceptions or one's point of view. Good morning, gentlemen. Today we're going to be doing Anatomy of the Starfish. It's a member of the phylum Echinodermata. And if we look at the ones we have in front of us, we see that the symmetry is different than our own. What kind of symmetry does the starfish have? Charles. It has a radial symmetry because everything is coming from a center point and it's extended to its arms. Very good. So what is ethics? Shamanad offers a traditional liberal arts education within a Christian context and prepares each Shamanad man by providing an intellectual and spiritual framework within which he can meet the challenges of a contemporary world. Through the continual exploration of multi-sided issues, Shamanad men gain invaluable insight into themselves, the world around them, and their place within it. Although some of my upper class subjects in college were challenging, um, a lot of the real academic rigor had occurred when I was a freshman and sophomore here at Shamanad. I can distinctly recall my freshman roommate at Notre Dame reading each morning for approximately two hours a book entitled How to Study. And by the time October 15th came around, he was unable to ever catch up to any of the assignments that had been lagging for six weeks already. The educational process here certainly develops one for tackling the issues of higher education at the college level. I, I used to travel as a businessman to the Far East and there was an elderly gentleman that related a story to me about uh, teaching a child to fish. If, if you gave him a fish to eat, he would eat it one time. If you taught him how to fish, you would give him the opportunity to eat forever. I think that embodies to a large degree uh, a philosophy about Chaminade. They really taught you um, a wonderful underlying philosophy on how to survive. Make that expressive, make it an integral part of your project. Uh, obviously mathematics um, or other disciplines, uh, there are very definite or concrete solutions to things, but I think in the arts my hope is that I can show them other ways of, um, when they're given a problem, being able to solve it. Thomas Jefferson as president once said that there's one spot on the earth, the possessor of which is the habitual enemy of the United States. What is that spot? Brendan? New Orleans. New Orleans, exactly. Why one fundamental belief that I would so like my students to come States away with after being through my class would be an understanding that the world is a place of constant change. Uh, and they must be able to adapt to change, but at the same time that there are certain fundamental beliefs that have carried the world from ancient days until today. I did have one teacher junior year who liked to incorporate theatrics into his classroom drama, uh, Brother Stephen Belletta, the time uh, especially when he was teaching poetry. I recall one class he was teaching a uh, po uh, poem to an athlete dying young, a houseman, and to demonstrate this, he had one of my fellow classmates sit in a chair and four or five other classmates carry him around the room sitting in the chair. Three years later, I remember the poet, I remember the poem, I remember what the poem was about, just because of that little theatrical piece. Certainly some of the teachers were more unusual than others, uh, uh, particularly some of the ones that weren't wearing the black suits. And uh, one particular teacher that I had as a freshman in a geography class, uh, 
was a very, very good uh, storyteller, but also a very, very serious person, and uh, sometimes took himself too seriously. So uh, those of us who had a little mischief in, a, in ourselves uh, went out of our way to uh, uh, exacerbate uh, situations that were occurring in class. Uh, and we, uh, at one time, I remember, uh, uh, replaced the globe that he had in the room with a globe that we uh, spent considerable money on that was made out of terracotta. And uh, we uh, put Vaseline on it. And when he went to pick it up, as he was often uh, did during a class, it slipped from his hands and uh, shattered into many little pieces. And uh, it caused a bit of a laugh for a while. Until, of course, we had to face the music uh, in the office of the dean. Chaminade's dedication to educating the whole man has resulted in a sports program with a long and successful history. The diversified Flyers athletic program is known for its outstanding teams and for an emphasis on sportsmanship, personal excellence, and team spirit. What comes to mind is the undefeated football teams. Not one, but all of them. But even more than that, there were some teams that didn't have what most people would call outstanding talent. And those fellas succeeding. Charlie McGuckin, who played for me and later coached with me for 11 years, we would say, you know, these guys are making us look awfully good. Shamla taught me about competition and winning that uh, it's more important to give your best effort than it was necessarily to win, and that it's more important for the team to win than uh, an individual. I had wanted to go to Chaminade from the time I was in about fourth or fifth grade when I was here to see my first football game. Um, and there was just a, an, an incredible awe about the, the size of the crowd, the noise, the, the, the joy, the, uh, the spirit that seemed to be there, and not that maybe I could appreciate at the time exactly what that was, but there was a, a desire from that moment that this was for me. Winning isn't everything. I mean, we're taught that it's nice to win, but uh, if you can look at yourself in the mirror and say, I did my best, I think uh, that's great. I mean, it's the best you can do. I had two very, very close uh, calls uh, on Iwo Jima. It's difficult to, to describe or talk about unless you're actually there and could feel it. But. Uh, I, I, I'm sure that the, the athletic experiences, the religious experiences that I received here at Chaminade helped me and pushed me a little, bo little more than uh, maybe someone else might have been exposed to. But I feel in my own heart and soul that it did help me, no doubt about it. I think athletics at Chaminade, we, what we're trying to do is it's the same thing as academics. Uh, we're trying to be the best in academics. We're trying to be the best in athletics. There were some outstanding performances at yesterday's Winter Track League Championships. Jack McMullen won the two mile. Robert Stevens won the 600 meter run. Yeah. 
While the great and daily concern is academic excellence, Chaminade encourages growth outside the classroom with a myriad of clubs and activities. Before the first morning bell and well into the evening hours, students enjoy opportunities for specialized learning and service to others. For generations of Chaminade men, the clubs and service organizations have provided outlets for personal growth and have nurtured interests and friendships that last a lifetime. Four. Come on, one more, one more. And here's something to remember me by. Okay, that was pretty good. Is that slap all right? All right, right here. All right, let's do the center one first. I just feel that getting involved is part of, a very important part of the experience of Shamana because you can't just work 24 hours a day. There has to be an outlet or um, just some kind of, just to relieve some stress. And Shamanad offers, you know, so many different, you know, a range of so many different kind of activities to get involved in. So just utilize that. It's very important. So Eric, sometimes competition is fruitless between friends, but can competition with grades be good, anybody? Dave, what do you think? Uh, well, I think competition has helped me, especially these past four years, because... I think the purpose of Sodality is to really give the, uh, the students a way to experience their faith personally and in a small context, outside of the, the full classroom, where it's a few students and one moderator, a brother or a lay teacher, where you speak very informally, um, really as a group of friends who've known each other for a long while and are able to share opinions, debate back and forth freely, where you feel free to explore new ideas, to question and to challenge. In a world of changing values, roles, demands, and expectations, Chaminade offers a reliable stronghold to young men growing into manhood. The spiritual, moral, and educational lessons that are explored and learned at Chaminade help our students make thoughtful decisions and face tough challenges, today as adolescents and tomorrow as Chaminade men. The purpose of the Torch Fund is to secure the future of Chaminade High School. The Torch Fund is an endowment fund. Each year, we will build up the principal of this endowment fund so that more and more income from this fund can be attributable to reducing the tuition costs of Chaminade High School. But at Chaminade, the Torch Fund plays a, a distinct role for a private school, a day school. Uh, the tuition is maintained very, very, at very low levels through extraordinarily good management. And the Torch Fund is a way to allow a great diversity of students to attend that school. Having people donate, it allows students of the future, my children, my fellow classmates' children, other people's children, to be able to come to Chaminade and to share the same experience that I did at a reasonable cost. Much has been said about the fact that we as a country can't compete unless we improve the output of our educational system. And I think we have at Chaminade is a micro answer to the macro question of producing uh, young people who can in every way compete with the best that the rest of the world can throw at us. So it doesn't matter to me whether anybody has a child that went to Chaminade, whether they went to Chaminade themselves. Here's an opportunity to help the most important problem in this country, which is educational reform. People who give to the Torch Fund not only help educate those children that attend Chaminade at that point in time, but I think they're helping solve the most important problem in this country. Anything that contributes to the development of young people that's going to bring forth a good, kind, intelligent, God-loving, Christian American citizens has got to be supported. For you to donate to the Torch Fund uh, is an investment in people and an investment in the future. We are the fire strong and Shaman is family. Closeness liberating, a lighthouse, a beacon, an experience, 
great community. Fulfilling. Special. Important. A cornerstone. Caring. Christian. Diversity. Learning. Challenging. Quality. Family. 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 Home. Chaminade is glorious. <laughs> I love it. An unforgettable experience. 